Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Zero from TechTranger.info, and today I have a replay in my T34. Now, the T34 is, as you may know or may not know, one of my favorite tanks. I seem to do pretty damn well in this thing, and pretty consistently. Like, I have bad games, of course, but overall, I'm gonna say that, you know, scoring well over a thousand damage on this thing is almost a guarantee. Like, almost. You do have the one in a million game where Artie just wrecks you at the very beginning of the game and it's GG, but... Um, anyways, so, the T-34 is also one of the very few tanks that I don't really care if I get into tier 10, because this tank doesn't really care <laughs> for tier 10. It's like, meh, it's just more HP to shoot. <laughs> it's fine. So we got some shots going in here. None of ours, though. Got a RU25 up there, or a 251, excuse me, not 25. Don't think now we're not gonna get a line on him. Kinda wanna move up here and use the gap. I think the, uh, yeah, he's going for the gap. Dang it. Not really a fan of going here, but let's check. Oh! IS8, put a shot in. <laughs> and we pull out before he can shoot. There's no artillery, so we don't have to worry about that. Oh, 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 oh! <sighs> Couldn't quite reload in time. Oh, he's coming back. Ah, still can reload in time. Dang it. Wow, that IS took forever to load in, and we managed to put a second shell into him without taking a return shell. Good shit so far. And as you can see, I don't even carry premium rounds on this thing. I don't see the need for it. If you place your shots well, you have no need for premium rounds. Now, of course, I do have a pretty good crew in here by now, but... Come on. Ah, I went back. Dang it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello! <laughs> At this kind of position, uh, they're gonna have a lot of trouble just penning you. If you use that little spot there, you can pretty much go hold down and... It is GG for them. So far, we're pushing around here pretty firmly, but if you look at the map, the other side is not doing as well, and they're getting overrun quickly. It's just an I-7 and a T-54. We're never going to be able to hold up against that, so we're going to have to hurry up here. These people would stop pulling back and just go forward already. Zerg them. We have this many people here. Zerg it. Zerg it. Ah, dang it. He died before I could put a show in. Oh, well. So we won this flank, and the other flank has a T-54 on the run. And I decided at the end there to just take the shot, try it, but nah. It's not the most accurate gun, so that was a one in a million shot. Um, I did not ever think it was going to hit. It was just a, eh, got nothing better to shoot at. This thing will make money anyways. Might as well. Why not? T-34 down there. What else do we have here? A lot of people are behind things. Oh, that T-54 is gonna get so effed over there. And I don't think they're gonna use lube. I'm just gonna go straight in. Ouch. So, let's see if we can come around here and put some pressure up in the middle. A Tiger 2 T-54 Mod 1 and a Waffentrager. Oof. That is a tough bunch down here. Fired. This ally would bugger off. There we go. Put my shot into him. Go back. Target 2 might have a very small opportunity to shoot us if we pull forward. There we go. That was his opportunity. Now it's time to move up. Can we no, can't quite see him. Might take a shot from uh, him. No, he's busy. I should go. Go, 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 go. Go. Into the back of the turret. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Low roll, and I don't finish him off. Dang it. Oh, that sucked. And he gets finished off anyways, but 400 uh, alpha damage. Is it like 360 or something? Put a shot into his engine deck there. If we did 400 damage, we would have gotten the kill there. I'm not too keen on going for it. Oh, he fired. GG. Put a shot to his lower plate. Come on. What? Oh, dang it. Dang you! Stealing my kill! <laughs> we still have some 
nasty tanks heading for our base, so we gotta keep moving here. Eh, rock. Who put that rock there? Hmm. I'm just debating where to go. Yeah, this seems to be the best approach. I can go hold down here if I go up here. Yeah, the base is well. They're, they're holding. A, they're holding up. But I mean, an E100 can be a very nasty tank if played well, and just pumping out the heat, you know. Waiting for him. Come on, I have a very small shot. Ah, it goes slightly high. Dang it. I still have an ST1 there. Again, very nasty tank. Don't. No, that must be the upgraded turret. Nah, don't take the shot. There's no point. That would have bounced. It's like, why would I even try? So he puts a nice shot into him. He's turning his turret. Oh, low plate shot. Waiting for that aim time. Come on. There we go. Nice high roll. Oh, he's coming for us. No, no. Leave me alone. Dang it. First damaging shot I take. Oh, we're gonna get there in time. We're gonna reload. Ah, dang it. Well, we still have the 100. <laughs> Ooh. As he exterminates the T32. Yikes. Trying to turn as least as possible here. Trying to get to the 100 in time to get some more damage done. Come on. Come on. All we got his ass. Come on. As he finish off another tank. Come on. Ass shot. Yes. And we finish him off. Let's take a look at the stats. And this is what I mean with this tank. Master Batch First Class. Fire for Effect. Bruiser. And a Confederate. The You Suck Metal. As you can see we damaged quite a bit of people. And that's just what this tank is. It is just, for me at least, so reliable on just doing damage every game. And just dishing it out continuously. What did I get there? Uh, rental tank. Bullcrap. Wish you could just turn those missions off. Have a little check mark. Yeah, there were some rental games or rental stuff going on back then. We still have rental tanks now, so nothing really changed. Anywho, um, walked away with second highest experience, third highest damage. I was a bottom tier. Tier 8 and tier 10 game. This tank doesn't care. It really doesn't care. It can so well dish out the damage. It's fantastic. Without premium, would have made 51k, but with premium, got 84k and a grand total of 5,000 experience. Very, very, very nice. And as you can see, I have a pretty good crew on this tank. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.